Hey everybody, welcome back to Box Pop and Beauty. I am Michael. I'm Kendall. And today, we have something for her. She doesn't know we have it, but it's really for her. It's pretty cool. This is the, you've seen us open them before, Zompire Ink. But this is pretty special because this is the first strictly killer box. So this is, they kind of split into doing two separate boxes. And this is their first one that is strictly true crime killers. Mm -mm. Cool. Price is $40, which includes a relic, which could be kind of scary. We might need to be saging some crazy, it's like crazy saging. I have so much sage. I think in the last Zompire box, we didn't get it, but in the last one, they included somebody's hair. Yeah, I'm not cool with that. There's so much energy that gets attached to that kind of stuff. Yeah. I'm just not okay with it at all. We already have a ghost in our garage that hates me. I just so, can't do it. This would be kind of cool. So $40, which includes a relic, for $10 more, you get an autograph as well. So we did it. We did the whole shablammy. 50 bucks plus shipping gets you... These were the included. They had to throw in the Tiger King. Wait, I don't want to know who they are. You don't know what's in the box? No. Oh, okay. Well, guess we're going in mystery style. I got to tell you guys who my favorite serial killer is. She's probably not in this box because she's not someone that gets talked about a whole lot. But my favorite serial killer, well, I have a female and a male favorite serial killers because I love serial killers so much. But my favorite female serial killer, who probably tells my favorite male serial killer, is Eileen Warnos. Who's your favorite male? My favorite male is Ed Gein, or Gain. Gein. Gein. And um, I love, like, there's all these adaptations about him. But his actual story is the craziest. And I just think he was just such a tortured soul. So fascinating. But Eileen Warnos is really interesting. And there's a bunch of tapes on the internet that are interviews with her that are really interesting. You should watch. Okay, so we got a letter. It says, hey man, you're back. We have missed you. Hope you love this box. Hashtag Zompire Army. Because we did skip the last box. So. That's nice. Yeah. They sent us a little letter. And they included this. We have one of these already. We got this in the last box. It's a really cool uh, Zompire Jason mask. Here, I'll show you guys. It's got the Zompire Army Z on the forehead. It's like a really nice uh, car vinyl. Okay. Want to grab something? Careful. Okay. Keep America Exotic. I'm assuming this is Tiger King. Yep, Tiger King Joe Exotic. So that's the art print. So I can't find anything. In fact, I found an article that states a little bit the opposite about the Tiger King online saying that he doesn't explicitly profit from the Tiger King. And given that there is evidence of pretty significant animal abuse in the show... I do not support Tiger King. I haven't watched it. I'm not going to do anything that supports him. So if I had known this was in the box, I probably, I don't know that I would have done this it. This supports the artist, not him. That's true. This is the artist. Okay, so never mind. I guess it's fine. But I don't watch the show or anything. We haven't watched the show yet. I don't want to do anything that supports him or gives him any money. But, but so I don't know anything about the show really, except for that it does have animal abuse. Not sure who the artist but is. It's but a they're... pretty sweet photo. Signatures there, yeah. Keep America exotic. I love that it's rainbow and... Yeah, it's fun. It's kind of cool. We got, I think... Oh, we got these advertisements before. So this is the advertisements from John Borowski. We actually have his autograph from a previous Zompire box. So this is one of his coming out. Uh, the John Wayne Gacy murders. Oh, that and guy haunts me. Here's his other... I watched that Carl Pan's Ram. Uh-oh. We got a bag. Oh, man. It's got glass in it. All right, let's see if I can get it out of here. It's, like, really tight. That's what she said. He said. Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. Oh, Dahmer. Yep. That's good. That's a coaster. Yeah, that's freaking sweet. That's pretty cool. So it's like a. Uh... <laughs> we'll put that. Yeah, we'll put that. In. We'll put that out. We actually sure. have this guy. This is kind of cool. Watch this, guys. Well, we can't replace my one in pink. No. So we actually have this on our table. It's <laughs> coasters, just like this. 
Show them I want the pink one in the front. Oh, this is her favorite. <laughs> it's true. So that's kind of funny. Yeah, that's a good one. I don't know how good of a, a coaster it's going to be because it's like almost, um, uh, there it's it's a la almost like laminated like it's smooth so i don't know that it's actually gonna it might keep so that's the, just gonna slide off of it maybe. yeah the moisture is just gonna maybe slide off but i think they had to like get the image on there but that's pretty sweet they can just sit out here though yeah jeffrey dahmer all right oh this is the the relic uh... oh cool so this is the good fella henry hill and it's a piece of his members only jacket That's pretty cool. And it's sealed with like, um, what's that called? Like a uh, tamper proof uh, or tamper evidence tape. That's crazy. What do you think about energy from a jacket? I think it all carries energy. So it's the good the fella that wore it. Henry Hill jacket. There's still a couple more things in here. Take this. Uh, this is a pin. This is not a dream, it says on the back. It looks like Hen looks like Henry Hill. Huh. Here, I'll show it off. It's a cool little pin. We don't collect pins, but it's still a cool looking pin. I know Zompire has done some amazing pins with Pin Cemetery. They come in these coffins. They're just super cool. Yeah, those are sweet. Alright, I think the last item in here. Whoa, okay, that's cool. So it's again oh wait, this might be Ed Gein. Really? The pin. That's Ed Gein. What? I think it is Ed Gein. I think it's... Because it's supposed to have Ed Gein in here. So I'm pretty sure that the pin is Ed Gein. Yeah, it is. What? It looks like... It's funny because it almost looks exactly like uh, Henry Hill. But well, it's definitely Ed Gein. It. it doesn't look like him to yeah, me. It's an Ed Gein pin. We're keeping it for sure. Yeah. So this is really cool though. Um, so this is a Henry Hill autograph. Which is kind of crazy. So it says on the back, Henry Hill Jr., June 11, 1943 to June 12, 2012, was an American mobster who was associated with the Lucchese crime family of New York City between 1955 and 1980. In 1980, Hill was arrested for narcotics charges and became an FBI informant. This is an authentic signed casino card signed by the good fellow himself, Henry Hill. That's pretty cool. So I don't understand. They had him sign cards and then they printed a story on the back of the card or? No, it's separate. Oh, it's separate. See, the, the card is here. And then here's what they, Zompire printed up. Oh, okay. So it's a th authentic sign. So, so he's like a mobster? Yeah. I don't really know Goodfellow, to be honest with you. Yeah. I know like murder stories, I feel like, more than I know stuff like that. What's interesting, too, is the members only jacket actually has a jsa authentication on it it says jsa with a number which is pretty cool i don't know if the, i don't believe the autograph is authenticated but look here in the corner it says jsa it'll focus so i don't know what we'll to look that up but that's pretty sweet these two are kind of cool i love that we got a pin of ed Gein. i think that's like amazing i wish i i mean i I think what threw, maybe it does look like him, and it just doesn't this register is what, for me. But this is what threw me off: is I'm looking at this guy's photo, and then that pin, and it, they're very similar looking. So, but yeah, that's definitely a game. Well, that's amazing. He's my favorite. So awesome. This was this is a cool like for a first uh, true crime box. First of all, I love the fact. You know, you've got more of like a mobster, not just a serial killer. So you've got like this mobster. These two things together are pretty sweet. You know, you've got his autograph and a piece of his jacket. So that's really cool. Yeah, and then this coaster is awesome. Jeffrey Dahmer coaster. And... Yeah, it's a great box, honestly. Like, almost all this stuff, I think, is pretty amazing. Yeah, I think... I think, honestly, you've got your value right here. I mean, you've got these really nice pieces of history. And where are you ever going to find something like this again? Hey, I pin. mean, or this. Like, where are you going to find something like yeah. this? Yeah. So, yeah, it's awesome. I think it's really cool. Um, we will link their Facebook page down below because they don't have a website yet that I'm aware of. We follow them on Facebook, on Instagram. 
There is the Zompire Army Facebook group as well that you can join. So we will link all of that down below. Go check them out. Uh, there may be some of these boxes left. Um, if there are, you can reach out to part of Zompire is Vlad and Jesse. They are great. Reach out to them. They will hook you up. Uh, get one out to you. Again, $40 for uh, this whole box with the relic. $50 with the relic and the autograph. So yeah, go uh, go check them out. I think it's uh, pretty sweet. This yeah, was a the value's there for sure. This was a fun box. Um, I love to have Ed Gein in there. That's pretty cool. Yeah, true crime box. Oh, I would have told you if you'd let me. I didn't want to. I was like, that's a great surprise. So yeah, this is cool. True crime box. Uh, go check it out. As always, do these things, and we appreciate the hell out of you being here. Let us know what you think down in the comments. And until next time. Sorry, I was thinking. What were you thinking about? You want to share? No. <laughs> Bye, everybody.